Welcome to the fifth episode of the ELR podcast. Um, yeah, the last race was Singapore, the longest race on the calendar, and uh, yeah, indeed the best drivers made it to the end with unbelievable eight retirements and five uh, safety cars. Um, today's guests are Morris Guy from the Renault team and Igor from the Williams team. How are you guys? <laughs> very well yeah very good um are you satisfied with you with your performance uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no I, i'd say i am yeah yeah so did i i mean you you did you survive the race that's that's the most important thing <laughs> as eight drivers didn't and we have had like 15 or something like that uh, so points were a guarantee that's why i wondered why cr7 retired when he had points surely um <laughs> did you have any doubt that that you'll crash on one lap um me personally no uh, i singapore is my favorite race of the season i love it yeah i love it as well <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I, I crash on almost every lap. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, it didn't it, it didn't go well. The result was good, but um, did you crash this time? Oh, oh I I no. crashed about three times in Singapore. <laughs> How didn't I get that? I would roast you so much. You <laughs> wouldn't watch the stream <laughs> in a while. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so. On tonight's podcast, we are going to just talk about the race and about the sprint league a little bit. And I forgot to put in like general talk, but that's the topic always. Um, you both are in the sprint league, I believe. Yep. Yeah. I know for Morris because I raced him in Russia. Uh, yep, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and for Igor, I didn't really know I had to check, but then I've seen he is in the sprint league and then I thought we could include that as well so let's start with the race talk and let's see the updated standings after the race in singapore we have matthias p1 10 points ahead of morris but matthias isn't racing anymore so i could effectively say morris is first 100 points <laughs> then we have pondus the brother of matthias and p3 89 points uh blue only two points behind him then we have Bambino with 83, then Igor, our second guest, or our first guest, I don't know, <laughs> uh, with 76 points. His teammate Dynamo, 70 points, that means 6 points behind Igor. Then Tierra Noble, 40 points in the Ferrari. Uh, then we have Rohox in the Haas, 28 points. Rohox been... he has shown some, some strategy mastermind, but uh, he hasn't been able to execute on that uh, then we have Jacobo in, in the Mercedes 25 points I haven't seen him in a while then we have Grayson he was in contention on the Thursday in the Alfa Romeo then uh, our I believe one off driver because he'll one surely off. get promoted to tier one he was unbelievable Scalesi I believe that's how you pronounce his name he got uh, a wick victory in Singapore he had an amazing start, he didn't make a mistake, he had contact with, I believe it was uh, Luke Bruce, but that wasn't his fault. Um, then we have Nutella Lava in the Alpha Tauri, Alpha Tauri, I don't know, 20 points. Then we have EFF, uh, also 20 points, and Simba, the replacement for Matthias, also 20 points. Uh, then we have Jamie H, 19 points and P16, Cablo and P9, uh, P17 with 19 points. Uh, it was a good race from Cablo. He survived the race. That's the most important thing. Uh, then we have CR7. He retired from the session illegally. Uh, he might get penalized. Uh, P18 with 18 points. Then we have Mike. P19, 10 points. Then we have Luke Boos in the Red Bull. 20th place with 9 points. 21st is Vitya. Uh, 8 points. Then we have Bundes. 7 points, McDur 4 points, Joe P 4 points, and Mind Pro without a point. The Constructors 
standings are McLaren 217 full wins, then Williams 146, Renault 119, Alpha Tauri 107, Racing Point 102, Ferrari 60, Haas 30, Mercedes 29, Red Bull 16 and Alfa Romeo in last with 13 points. Are you satisfied with your total amount of points? Uh I go first. I didn't even know William. I didn't even know Eagle was ahead of us in those days. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm happy. It's um, I'm I'm quite happy where I am. It's uh, I feel bad for like my teammate Pablo. He hasn't been playing this game as much, so to be where we are, that's yeah. quite happy. I mean, the race on Sunday, he had one incident. I believe he got a 10-second penalty for that. But uh, otherwise, he just draw the, his race and didn't crash out. He, I think, had to change his wing once, once or twice. I, I think he he outbraked himself. That's why CR7 ended up retiring. Yeah, and uh, no, CR7 just retired from the session from the pause menu, and Cablo waited yeah. for CR7 to pass him. <laughs> yeah, I think he was a little bit annoyed. Yeah, anger. I asked him after the race, why why did you retire? And he was like, yeah, I, I wanted the win and I couldn't settle with one point. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> on him then. Well, okay. And how about you, Igor? Yeah, I'm, I'm mainly satisfied about the constructors. I think we've done a, a good job of just staying consistent, really. Um... Oh, the topic of you and consistency. That that that's a good topic. That's a good topic. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> so now let's see the title battle. I have like I'm here. The the graphic designer. <laughs> um, <laughs> We have Matthias leading, not for long, I believe. Then we have Morris P2 and Pontus P3. Look at the points, guys, from race one to now. We've seen Igor had um, bad first two races, but then uh, his points started to climb almost exponentially. And Morris got a victory in... Austria, yeah, I I remember that because it was a mastermind. Austria, yeah, uh, and yeah, then he was just consistent and got the points, and yeah, he was there. <laughs> uh, Igor, what do you think about your start of the season and how you progressed? Um, I think I I, I never really expected to do well in the first few races because um. It's the first time I've I've actually yeah. did, I've done league racing, and I thought it would take me a few to get up to speed, uh, and and be confident in in like moves I'm making and stuff. But um, the first one I got wiped out, and uh, the second one was my fault. And then I've just been picking up consistent points and kind of snuck up behind everyone. <laughs> Yeah, you you were just there waiting for the others to crash out, and you just got the points. Yeah. You <laughs> you were there waiting for the positions to come, and you got the positions. And I mean, that's that's how you sometimes need to do it. <laughs> yeah. And like Matthias, look at the gap from that he built from Canada to Bahrain. It's a massive Correct. gap. It's a massive gap. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. And Blue has had some really bad races in Abu Dhabi. And then Vietnam, he didn't start. And then here he he got he got wiped out or he crashed out himself. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, so... Now can you tell me... Um, Did you expect to have eight DNFs in this race? Let's um, start. Yeah, you can start. Yeah, just start. Hello? 
Has he gone? Have you lost him? So sorry. I'm, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, just just go on. Uh, was it eight DNFs, wasn't it? Yeah, eight DNFs. Yeah, uh, it's Singapore. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> what it, more can you say? Yeah, in tier three, they thought we'll, they thought we'll have four finishers, and we actually just had like two or three DNFs. <laughs> That's good. And we had just one VSC. I was hoping for a safety car just to bunch the field up because I knew if, if the fields bunch up, I'm getting the victory 100%. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, yeah, if someone crashes out, that causes a uh, safety car or a VSC, but at the end of the day, it does bunch everyone up again. It does create some exciting racing. Yeah, and how about you? I, I didn't expect eight. <laughs> I, I expected a few. Um... <laughs> Yeah, because it is it is Singapore and it's it's hard to overtake. Um, I was quite quite lucky a couple of times not to DNF myself. Um, and yeah, it's just good to get points. Yeah, I I believe exactly the half of the field crashed out or retired, <laughs> and we had five safety cars, and only one of those was a real safety car, I believe. Mm. It's it's a crazy race. I thought Vietnam would be worse because it's just walls and track. In Singapore, you can get involved. Well, many people actually turned up from Vietnam. Yeah, it, it was a really low attended race. Mm. Bahrain as well, and I did, we didn't have a stream for Bahrain because my PS4 and my internet were dying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Morris, you, wh wh where do you qualify again? Do you uh, know? Seventh, eighth, something around there. Yeah, and you made it up to P3 because uh, Simba and Grace and NCR7 had some beefs, beefy stuff. <laughs> Let's just say it like <laughs> that. Um, there was a move from, I believe it was CR7 on Simba, it was like such a Ricardo move, but Ricardo uh, times two. <laughs> I think yeah. he, he dived from like 50 car lines behind. I, I, I just couldn't get why, <laughs> how can you try that move? Uh, I think, are you talking about the one on the straight? Yeah. That was actually CR7 and Oh, that was CR7. Huh? Um, was it Dynamo? I believe it was Dynamo. Or Dynamo. Um, no, I remember that. I I was right. I got a better run at the last corner than I think it was CR7. I had used all my ERS. I was in high reach mode. <clears throat> I got past him. And as I was approaching the end, I was catching who I believe it was Dynamo really quickly. Because like, if you actually watch my on board, I actually do tap the brake slightly yeah. but then I, I, I see that I can do it so I just went for it <laughs> it, it worked but it, I then failed at the end because I outbroke myself down the the bridge straight and I ended up having to go into the runoff so unfortunately I lost it out in the end, I lost four places in the end Okay and Igor, when did you take over the car because you lost connection? Um well, I took over briefly before the lights went out, okay. and as the lights went out, it took control from me again, <laughs> and when I was facing backwards after the first corner <laughs> is, is, is when I got control. Um, it was quite... It was quite this, yeah, and the whole time... Um, my button mappings on my wheel were was different, <laughs> so I was struggling to. Yeah, let's check if if this is DRS or lean mix, and let's check if this is what well, I know brake bi brake bias or differential. <laughs> yeah, I, I found myself uh, putting on overtake quite a few times. I wasn't really expecting to. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't look behind me either. I couldn't find the button to look behind me. <laughs> Imagine calling Jeff whilst trying to find the DRS button. 
<laughs> yeah. Did anyone of man. you see the Jamie H. Blue incident on that one? Uh, yes. Kind of. I think I was behind it. I think. Oh, oh, I'm a steward, so I can't oh. kind of <laughs> have to watch it. <laughs> Who do you think is Paul? Yeah, it's Jamie. Uh, Jamie H. Yeah. I've just it's, seen it's one blue of those... in the wall. I didn't see anything else. It was, it was one of those incidents yeah. where it's kind of on the edge of how much room you can leave. Um, and it, it was just a slight coming together of wheels, but the way Singapore is, there's no runoff, so once you spin, you're in the wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you recall on some of the overtakes you did, if you did any? <laughs> and how hard was it to pass, actually, for you? Uh, I go first. Um, to be fair, you're asking the person who's probably got the, the worst memory. <laughs> <laughs> the only real one that I remember is that is that double overtake. Yeah. I I always I found that. No, you have to skip me. Literally, I cannot remember. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done my research. I should have watched the replay. <laughs> nah, it's all good if you can't remember. You can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can only remember the crashes. I can't remember overtakes. Uh, I had a couple of overtakes. Um, uh, I because I went in quite late on to put on some softs, um, mm -hmm. and I came out and I did a couple of overtakes. Um, uh, but I think I was mostly overtaking damaged cars. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I did one, it was into turn one around the outside. Um, quite a satisfying one. But um, <laughs> I've noticed no, none of my overtakes are ever on the stream. Every time I, I look back on the stream, I look, I look back and they're never there. I noticed that as well. The best, <laughs> the best overtake I've ever done on any F1 game was in um, Russia on the final lap. <laughs> And I was so gutted it wasn't on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had a nice overtake on WLK on Sunday. Um, around the outside of the third DRS zone. It was like, for me it was godlike because I had to break with my clutch pedal. <laughs> 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 and I still made the move. And I pulled away from him. <laughs> In Singapore, where you need to be really, really careful on the brakes. Yes. Um, it's always satisfying when you get one you never thought you'd get. I think that's, yeah. the, that's, the, that's the best one. And um, you, I remember the Montoya question on the press conference now where you said that you overtook one car into turn one and that was a nice one. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a classic clip. <laughs> Igor, you got your victory in Bahrain. Yeah? yeah? Not on track, I believe, but you got it. No, I was, I was fourth on track. Um, penalties. But I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get any penalties, so... Were you the, the steward at the time? Oh, <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> this could be some... <laughs> Infringement on yeah. the stewarding integrity. <laughs> and and in my defence, I um, I I was of the crowd that uh, Rohawk shouldn't have got a ten second penalty. Uh, if you choose to believe that or not, that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> but, we'll um, see. We'll see you. if you win the next race. Yeah. If not, then no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, I I thought it was harsh that. Rohawks got an extra ten penalties, uh, an extra ten seconds. Um, but this he t bones someone, didn't he? I remember right. Yeah, then. if he had footage of it, yeah, yeah, um, he... it, it wouldn't have been as bad as the penalty. But because we had no footage of the incident, we just had to assume the worst. I think. So um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it was unfortunate. And it bumped me up to second. I think so. I don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, we were oh, having third, a battle third. on the last lap, I think, weren't we? Your device is offline. Oh. Connect. When closing the top of your screen, then go to settings. Network. Is that Alexa? 
That's his Alexa. Oh, my Alexa just <laughs> turned on. Hi, Alexa. Yeah, that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I remember rightly, I think that's the only time me and, me and you, Igor, have battled. <laughs> I think so, yeah. It was a nice one it lasted, and then I, I pitted, which I regret so much. Yeah, I'm trying to think of another time, and I think it might actually be the only time. <laughs> I usually let, if I think people are faster than me, I usually don't bother battling them, I, I let them go. Oh, you should. I know, uh, I know. Right, or... Next time I come up behind you, I want to battle. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, watch what happens next week when he takes me out. <laughs> yeah. It's Baku. <laughs> oh, I'm what? good at Baku. I, I've oh, heard man. some guys invalidated in Baku, and I, I just don't see where you invalidate Baku. It's just wall and track. Maybe the maybe the last oh, corner. Yeah. But that's hard, anyways, because you don't really want to use that much of the curb there, I believe, or at least I don't want <laughs> with my setup. No, uh, I was having a a real invalidation problem in Singapore <laughs> in the qualifying. <laughs> yeah, the. Yeah. I was well, on board with you, and I was like, N Igor, nobody's here, you need the pole position, <laughs> you need that. And then, invalidated, turn one, okay? Next lap, yeah. like, you've got no time, you need this lap, and you <laughs> you have to stick to it, and you, it needs to be good. <laughs> it was a disappointing lap as well, the one I, I actually managed to finish. <laughs> <laughs> How how was your tire condition? I felt like my softs fell away lap three. Oh yeah, soft 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 swing. Uh yeah, when my my last stint on the softs, I went on fresh softs and it was it was a nightmare. They were on seventy percent on the last lap, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. and I was just hoping to God that <laughs> they weren't gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. I had, um, I could only manage like, what was it, 13, 14 laps on the mediums, or it, it was less, it was 11 laps, and I felt like, no, these tires aren't good anymore. I was catching up to Oswaldo, but these tires aren't drivable, I'm gonna spin. And I just pitted, and I pitted for hearts, because w with the mediums, I wouldn't make it to the end, I, yeah, 100%. How, how did you find the hards? Because I thought the hards were ridiculous. They were really understeer in the first two laps, but then they just... I never went on them. I just didn't, I didn't trust them. Yeah, I don't. I never go on them. I can avoid it. I mean, on the hards, I was still faster than the guys on the mediums. That was my pace, but... <laughs> 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 my pull position was, I think... Nine and a half tenths before somebody said the lap, like on at the uh, at the end, and I'm really satisfied with my performance. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was. Um, I think with the, when I was on the mediums, I was surprised how quickly they were burning out too. Because I was, I thought the only thing that would save my my race if I was if I could manage to go quite far on the tires, and I just, I just couldn't manage it. Yeah, and it was the rears for me that were burning. Yeah, yeah. See, I think what what helped a lot of people in tier two was the was the safety car. Yeah. People had the opportunity to pit. I was about forty seconds behind when the safety car came out. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the chicane before the tunnel, uh, the one before the tunnel, before you actually get for the corner into the tunnel? Do you know that? Do you remember? The old, the old sing shot. Yes. Yeah, what did you do there, guys? The the brake markings were like like somebody just drew with black colored crayon on it. Uh, I don't go by brake. I don't. I don't go by brake markers. I use the. the no, no, no. Well, it's not the brake markers. The you you locked up every every lap, and I believe everyone locked up every lap. It was the the asphalt was really really black. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, I was definitely. impressed. I was impressed. How can you manage to do that? 
I can't even remember what I, what I do there because it's just when you get into a flow, you're not really thinking yeah. about it much. In Singapore, I, I was like just driving and I didn't think about anything. Like any other track, I'm thinking about something, but Singapore, you need, really need to stay focused and you can't think about anything. So yeah. you kind of stay focused for a lot of time. And I think Baku's same as well, um, but not not the the long straight there. You can you can you can just sleep there and not do anything. <laughs> and Baku, I believe one one wings would also work because you can only overtake on the straights, and uh, if you have a three hundred and eighty kph on the straights, nobody's gonna catch you. Yeah. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> And then ride height also one one. <laughs> Forget <laughs> about the curves. <laughs> I haven't even had a I had a thought about what I'm gonna what I'm gonna run at back. I had like four laps. It was feeling quite nice, but I am way off the pace still. Uh, for me, the most interesting races of the season were Austria and Russia. Russia because we had uh, Igor's army supporting me in chat <laughs> uh, and it was quite a crazy one big bambino taking everybody out uh and austria with big bambino's last pi uh, late pit stop and late safety car and morris guy getting a really nice exit uh or a really nice a really nice restart and then big bambino making his way through nutella lava falling down the order and then getting back up and everything i do you know what out of every race we've done this season, that is probably the race I remember the, the most. And <laughs> yeah, I honestly thought of that, after that race, Big Ben Bino would be my rival. Because that race, literally the last like three laps, my hands were shaking. <laughs> <laughs> because it had been my first win in months. And I knew if it was just one more lap, he would have catched me. Or if I just made one mistake, he would have catched me. I was, yeah, I was so focused on that last few laps. I think I've had a spin in every race when I think about it now. <laughs> it's been yeah. <laughs> Ru Russia was my was probably my favourite <laughs> because although, although the the result wasn't quite good because <laughs> I ended up I came second on track and ended up about sixth because I got so many uh, penalties. Um, but I I say I'm quicker in the wet than I am in the dry. Um. Well, in comparison to to other people, I don't I don't go faster in the wet than in the dry, but um, the wet weather I yeah. hate it. I hate it when it's not raining. I'm like almost the fastest, and when it's raining, I'm last. <laughs> yeah, oh, I can't I can't race in the wet. I can't I can't round Vietnam. It's been I've done Vietnam twice, and it rained twice. Yeah, same. And <laughs> us. It took everything in me to even finish it. I wanted to retire, but I knew I was, <laughs> I knew I was going to get points in the uh, the fifty in tier two. I knew I was going to get points, but I just, oh, I wanted to retire so bad. Yeah. The the rain in Vietnam in the sprint race, it that uh, I had someone rear end me. I can't remember who it was, but um, so I had to try and build myself up up in that race, and then I got caught. I, I think I caught up to you. Was it uh, Ermino? Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. overtook me, and I, I, and the guy in front of us, like in front of me and you and everybody else, he was lagging so much. I just didn't. I just wasn't sure if I should and could make the pass. And on the last lap, before the last lap, the last corner before the last lap would be started, I made a move. I power moved behind, uh, in front of him, and then, uh, turn one, I spin. <laughs> and I'm not ghosted, so the next car that uh, comes is ramming my front tire, and I lose my front tire, so I DNF. All I, I remember from that race was being stuck behind you for like five laps. Yeah, and I was stuck. Really annoyed me. I was stuck <laughs> with, behind CR7 for 14 laps. I was really, yeah. really frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> and then Russia. Uh, oh. Russia was. Um, yeah, I started P5 on the mediums, um, 
and I believe it was lap two. Somebody pushed me. It may as well be me. Was that you? It me? Yeah. Oh, yes, it was, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then I just went on with my race. Uh, lap nine, I pit for softs, and I fit my softs on. And I was like, Boris guy is ahead. I want to get past him. <laughs> I know I have three penalties, but I want to get past him on track. <laughs> and the, I closed the gap really quickly. I don't know if your medias were falling away, but the softs were really good uh, in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, remember. I was I was trying to go out. Go. You overtook me at one point. I tried to get you back around the long left hand. Yeah. Line. And then, as soon as we got to the corner, you turned. I was like, oh, fuck. sorry, I didn't mean. Sorry, I didn't mean sorry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> that was yeah. But, but like the literally like seven corner battle we had. That was good. Yeah, I knew you were gonna go for it, and I was like, no, this corner is mine. The next one as well. <laughs> I. <laughs> You're not getting back past. <laughs> that is good. Did I have any racing with Igor in the sprint league? Maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, the sprint league in Singapore. I I also had some some nice time with you, Morris. Did I? Not really on track, but I think off track with the penalty that you passed me then again. That was I I could have been like far more up ahead, but um, at one point. When I uh, when I had to go for my medium stint for my second stint originally the um, only stint left, uh, I was really fast and I caught up to my fellow th tier three teammates uh, or rivals uh, Logan and Los Alejos and I passed Alejos on the second straight on the back straight I believe that it's called um, and then I got to Logan and I had enough room to go around the outside but then he just closed the door he wiped me out and I had to pit again for a wing change and I got past him last lap last corner the the fast left hander I got back I got past him back there and I'm really proud of that move <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ha we've uh, raced in the sprint league. Um, yeah, I remember we had a little battle on the final lap on the F two car. Yeah, <laughs> and that was that was incredible. Uh, it wasn't the last lap; it was the last three laps. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it was yeah. Y you know why? Because I was I decided for the sprint race. Yeah, I don't care anymore. I I was just putting my f my wings to seven seven so i can enjoy the first sector and then i was like really really quick there but then we when we get to the straights i would lose like eight tenths oh I see. per straight I was, I was wondering why you were so slow on the straight <laughs> and yeah. i i always took the corner in in the last chicane i don't know if you, if it has a name and on the last lap i also believe i could have taken the line but I was wondering if I have if I touch you and I didn't really want that, so I went deep. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, did and I just gave deep. up the position. I was like, I could have gone quicker, but I just gave the position up. It was a nice battle. It was a nice one. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah. Let me just change this to the general talk because now I'm gonna ask you about the next race in Baku. How many wings will you change, and who will be on pole position, and who will win? I reckon blue will be pole. Okay. Yeah, I uh, think that's I a safe bet. Yeah. No, I. Well, yeah, it's I tier two. Nothing's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. I talk to blue quite a lot. I know he's quite decent around Baku. Myself, I'm. I, I'm. I, I'm not good at Baku. I don't like it. I can see myself DNFing somewhere. You told us the same thing about, about Abu Dhabi, and you, in fact, didn't perform that well, but you still somehow got P5 or 6, I don't know. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I see you can't remember anything. <laughs> and I know, like, the whole race results from every race. <laughs> Half, halfway through Abu Dhabi, I 
just <laughs> I stopped thinking of anything. I just, <laughs> just cracked on with it. But it was so boring that race. And who will win? Do you think Blue will will win as well? Oh, uh, it's going to be between Blue and Pontus to win. If yeah. Blue makes no mistakes. Yeah, I think he can take it. And how many safety cars and crashes will they be or retirements? Crashes, lots of safety cars too. Retirements. Oh, I'm just waiting for the lap <laughs> one castle pile up. <laughs> So I can oh, laugh. Oh, so I can laugh like for five minutes. <laughs> if that happens, you are legends. <laughs> 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 and what do you think about the real Grand Prix? Who will who will who will be P one, two, and three? I think I already know the answer, but yeah. Oh, I'm I'm oh, I'm gonna throw out a big ambitious thing. Oh. Say <laughs> Hamilton, Bottas, and Stefan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need to add anything to that. <laughs> I thought I I I hear a uh, Vettel coming in. Really? Uh, yeah, because it's the German <laughs> Grand Prix and he's German. Like maybe, maybe. Uh, wow! Well, does that give you more horsepower? Yeah, I yeah. think the Ferrari will, will, will really struggle because you need to have some power and you need to have some downforce. Ferrari has none. <laughs> and yeah, I think Ferrari are in for a bad time when um, the but the second Bahrain track comes around. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're going to have problems. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for that race as well. Yeah. I think Ferrari will be lapped three times because it's 87 <laughs> laps and 89% of the lap is full throttle and 87 laps. If they don't get lapped at least twice, I don't know what, why we're even racing. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to go to the Nürburgring, um, but the tickets sold out really quickly. And now I can only buy the VIP tickets that cost 10, 10k and for me and my friend and my other friend to go to watch the race, it will, co it will cost like 32k and I can buy a car with 32k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wanted to go to um, Silverstone this year. But, uh, you know, I wanted to do a lot of things this year that I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I, I believe the, the year was really, really like, it's October. I just can't see how it can be October. It feels like I did nothing from March till <laughs> June or something like that. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything from January to till like September. <laughs> no, neither do I. Neither do I. And yeah, who do you think will be in the Alfa Romeo next year? It's, uh, Schumacher. And? Yeah. Schumacher and? I don't know. I... It depends what happens with uh, Perez, because I, I, I still reckon Perez will go to Has, Has, Has whatever his name is called. So I, maybe uh, Grosjean or something. Grosjean? Nah, that's maybe. not. He's thirty-six. Oh, he needs and to get. He needs to go to a retirement home or spend some time with his kids, um, <laughs> I, or I cook something, or cook something. Yeah, but Hamilton can drive. True. Yeah, and I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give you that. And Hamilton has a good car. He has a reason to drive well. <laughs> well, he still hasn't signed his contract yet, though, has he? No, he Maybe hasn't. But I, I mean, if he doesn't sign a contract, I don't see. Um, I just don't see it happening that he doesn't sign. He could maybe go to Formula E or WEC. No, I don't reckon. No, he he won't. Won't. I, I, I. I just can't see Kimi in for another year. 
I can see Kimi. And I think it's going to be confirmed this weekend. Kimi Schumacher. And then Haas. I will, I, what I want to see is Perez Hülkenberg. What I'll probably see is Perez and then Magnussen or Eilert or Fittipaldi. Something like that. Yeah, it's... I, st I feel quite bad for Giovinazzi. I don't think he's he's a bad driver. I That's really did think he's a bad driver. He de he didn't deserve his seat, I believe. <laughs> he didn't show anything this year. Last year, I, uh, like in the second half, he outperformed Kimi, yeah. But this year, he didn't show anything. Yeah, I do suppose you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough one because there's so many good drivers in F2 at the moment. And there's a lot that you you want to see come up. We need uh, eleven or twelve teams in Formula One. Uh, that, that, that's yeah, the yeah. simple solution. Yeah, but yeah. but looking at the Kimi Geo situation, Kimi is just driving. He isn't even tryharding, and he's still comfortably beating Geo in the races. So. Uh, no, I, I thought I thought at the start of the season when uh, Alfa Romeo had kind of fallen behind quite badly. Yeah. Comparison to last season, I mean, that, I that's because last. of the Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I thought it would be Kimmy's last because I thought it, he'd just get bored of it, but apparently not. Yeah, Kimmy's he never getting bored. Kimmy's partying all the time. Yeah. <laughs> He's made his money, he just does it for fun. Yeah. What else has he got to do? Have you followed his Instagram account? That's the most hilarious thing you can ever you could ever do. I didn't know he had one. No, oh, you did. <laughs> His captions are like, "The Iceman on fire." Now I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a tryhard in Alfa Romeo to get Kimi out, like Mick Schumacher. Yeah. So I, he's an, he's another one that surprised me this year because at, at the start he was pretty poor. I'm cheering for Mick Schumacher. <laughs> I'm not a fanboy, just passionate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I think he's he's special, and he's extra special because he's he's got there on on merit. Because he's he, he's not. He's, he's not, not there not because his dad is Michael Schumacher. <laughs> he's quick. No, he, he's the quality driver. He's brilliant. Yeah. Did you watch the F two race? In Russia, I only saw bits of it. I saw the Jack uh, Aitken. Uh, who do you think has fault for that crash? I I believe it's a racing incident. He had a puncture be, uh, yeah, because he got a puncture. I I yeah. I just I was attacked from all sides by people on Twitter because I said it's a racing incident. If it's anyone's fault, it's Jack's fault. But it's a racing incident. Yeah. I I originally thought it was Jack Jack's fault. Until you, I, I think did he put something on Twitter? Yeah. To explain it. He said, he said something. Yeah, he said something about he had a, like a, a puncture or something. Which, if that's the case, then it's, yeah, it's a racing incident. It's one hell of a racing incident, but <laughs> it was a bad one. <laughs> yeah, it was a really bad one. <laughs> Have you yeah. seen the clip of Mick Schumacher in Austria? It's uh, named uh, "Car Ejaculates on Mick Schumacher." <laughs> It's the funniest one ever. I mean, it, it just shows the fire extinguisher go off, but, but with the name, it's really, really, really <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah. Who do you think will power Red Bull from 2022? Oh, I have no idea. I, Renault. I'm Renault. This, it's just Renault. I mean, no See, one, no one's like, willing to develop a Formula One engine because it's like outdated. That's the it thing. See, I, I've seen I've seen things where Red Bull are actually trying to get the what's it called intellectual rights yeah. to the engine. I've I've seen rumors they're trying to do that. Not so much they make it, but they can give it to someone else. Honda said it would it would it was willing to help Red Bull beyond twenty twenty one with the engine. But they themselves wouldn't develop the engine. 
that's I think is they're gonna try everything not to go back to Renault. I mean Renault has to supply them if they cannot find yeah, a supplier. Yeah, they have yeah, that is the case, but I think they're gonna try everything they can first. Yeah, but the Renault is not that bad. Some guys were talking about like Ferrari. Why would Ferrari want Red Bull to have their engines? <laughs> And why would Red Bull want to have Ferrari's <laughs> engine? Yeah, I thought uh, Renault's the only realist, but it oh, it must be so embarrassing. <laughs> if you're Christian Horner right now, you must uh, you must be so embarrassed. Yeah, Cyril Abitabul is uh, having fun right now. Um, <laughs> that's my French accent. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Um, this was the ALR fifth episode of the ALR podcast. We've had some really amazing guests. Thank you for joining me, joining me, guys. Uh, it was fun talking to you. Uh, I will screw you up on Thursday because I'm gonna throw a crazy commentator's curse out, and I'm. If you crash out, I'm gonna talk about it for thirty minutes, and I'm not gonna, not gonna let you breathe. Um, <laughs> yeah uh, this was the LR podcast follow us on Twitter follow us on or subscribe on YouTube don't forget to like uh, it means so much and um, if you have made it for like 52 minutes of this podcast um, then you're a crazy person but you're an amazing person as well um, thank you for watching see you next week we will we will discuss the race in Baku. Goodbye. <laughs>